Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It's so good to be home. Just came back from Bangkok a few days ago, so if you haven't checked out my Bangkok vlog, do see it. I really miss the place, the happiness, the food, the desserts. Yeah, my place to go. Right now, it's actually 7.15 a.m. One of the rare moments I'm awake this early. And as you can see, I'm wearing my floral shirt because today there is something happening in the morning which I must go to in 10 minutes time. It is my church friend's wedding. I haven't been to a wedding in four years. So I'm pretty excited. My first wedding in a long time. And her theme this year is floral. Hence, I'm wearing my favorite yellow floral shirt, which some of you may have seen last time. I'm not sure about other people, but I'm so looking forward to this. It's gonna be the Western style with brunch and reception and cocktails and of course English decorations hopefully I think I'm not really sure time to find out I'm not sure if I'll be able to bring my camera inside but maybe I might sneak in my phone out occasion for happy socks and it's been a while since I wore this so I'm wearing yellow and what is Rachel wearing for the wedding? I'm wearing something tropical <laughs> I think it looks quite tropical right? Yeah. Let's see. So, let's hope it's not hot. I know, let's hope it's really not hot. Here we are at the wedding place. Check it out. So foresty. And now we are checking in. Ooh. So nature-ish. Like you're in a haven. Yeah, we are too busy taking photos of ourselves before we even enter the wedding. Finding all kinds of backgrounds like this one. Check it out. What did you get for us? Just flat white that they have coffee service. Because <laughs> <laughs> we need coffee really badly. It's so early in the morning. This is our sitting place. We are sitting in this corridor behind the little pond, I guess. And that's where the reception will be. So we are actually sitting in the back row. That's alright. We have the whole place to ourselves. So they gave us um, their program, but it's shaped like a fan. So you can like. You can fan yourself. Oh, I didn't realize it's a fan. Quite cute, right? It's like an ice cream um, popsicle. Yeah, the names of the people involved and I think like the program. So, pretty cute. We just came back from a wedding and now we are preparing my sister's wedding for her table decoration. So still planning out but can currently see we have sourced out some objects to put like acorns, some potted plants of succulents and um, something really cute. So this is all just planning for her upcoming wedding which has a theme which I'm still not very sure what's going on. It's kind of like deserty, there's like a little mini terrarium and lanterns. I really like these golden acorns. They spread it until the very corner, so it's nice to hold and touch too. All right, Chinese New Year is coming up, guys. One of the most important events in Malaysia. And one thing that really bugs me is the songs they play in the malls or even shops. You know those really cheesy Chinese New Year songs that you hear? They just drive me insane. <laughs> Hopefully this phase will end really soon. And the next festive song they will play in Malaysia will be Hari Raya. So that's probably a few months later. And after that will be Christmas songs too. So basically you will have mostly three types of festive songs that you play in the malls. I just cannot stand Chinese theater songs. In the meantime, I thought I'll show you guys my piano again, which has not been, you know, featured in any of my vlogs since last year. Pretty long time ago, Yamaha P125 series that came out last year, 2018. So probably like three months old. And luckily the color is still white. So this is usually where I sit in my free time, if I have any free time, to compose my songs here. 
and usually it takes me a really long time to finish a song because I'm just so lazy, I procrastinate. And one thing I don't really like is how the piano is situated in my room. So if I were to play a song that you know I think is lovely, but other people in my house can't hear it because it's stuck in my room. Good and bad. Good because I can actually play my own songs without disturbing anyone. Bad because it's kind of sad you're playing for yourself. It's useful for me since I play at late nights, probably like even midnight. I play quite late. And I'm still trying to compose more songs. I'm finishing the Evergreen album by adding new music into it. Emotion and Tiro are done, but Evergreen is almost finished. So don't forget to listen to it in my other channel, Kevin Music. What does it smell? It smells so good. Auntie, what are you doing? Make biscuits. Biscuits? For Chinese New Year? Yes. It's a Chinese New Year biscuits. The house smells really good, everyone. It smells like baked cheese. Is that what's inside? Biscuit, cheese, and almond. Cheesy biscuits with almond slice. And you made the whole tray. Oh, you made this today also? Yeah. The cherry biscuits. So these are butter biscuits with um, like a cherry middle. One of my favorite Chinese New Year biscuits. Red containers. What else are you going to make? Pineapple tarts. Pineapple tarts. One of the most delicious ones. Coming soon. So look, it's so nice. Beautiful colour. Yeah, I know, look at that colour. And the taste also yummy. Tried it just now. It's so good. It's so buttery, cheesy, it's slightly salty. It's like a savoury but sweet biscuit. Mm, yep. Yes, our lunch for today. Roast pork and also barbecue pork. And guess who's here? Mel's back. Seriously, Mel, you have been away from my vlogs for almost a year since June 2018. But welcome back to Malaysia. You are on a holiday here. How do you feel? Tired. Tired. For those of you who don't know Mel, please watch my previous vlog. She appeared in many of them. And coffee vlog? Yeah, and the coffee vlog too. Man, we should do a part two, I think. In KL? Part two in KL? Yeah, we should. Yes, lunch it is. I think it's time for our usual thing. What are we having now? Red velvet cake. Cake? Yeah, this is our second cake though. I know, we ate two cakes, man. I think um, it's getting a bit out of hand, right? <laughs> do you miss Melbourne? A lot. Like, a lot. What do you miss about Melbourne? Coffee, of course. How's the cake? It's so moist. So moist? I don't know. It's so creamy and moist. Too much. That cake. Oh man, you're fainting. <laughs> That's so good. It's been a while since I had cake, so. Yeah, me too. But that was just last week. <laughs> I just cut my hair, yeah. Finally, it was such a big mess. And I think it's not bad. I wanted it to look like this follow over here. I think it's quite accurate actually. The old Korean English hairstyle, not sure. Feeling really nice and breezy up here. So, Chinese New Year is actually coming up really soon and I'm about to head to a mall to see the decorations. The mall that I'm going to is Sunday Pyramid, known for their nice festive decorations. Hopefully this year's one will be quite nice. Right, we are trying this new dessert called Romi, which is Hungarian pastry served with ice cream on top. Recently just opened, not really sure how it's like. Look at all that pastry inside. <laughs> it's like they twirl the dough around the cylinder to get that nice spiral shape and then they bake it. So it looks something similar to a pretzel, I think. Looks good. It's almost as big as your face. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, or nay? Not bad. It's melting so fast. Tastes like McDonald's. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Look at the decorations. Yeah. So can you tell me more about what is this thing? Uh, it is what you call a kulo, which I understand is some Hakka traditional round house. This one? 
this one, yes, I mean the shape of this place at least is supposed to resemble a Hakka Kulo. But this one I think is their communal area where they normally come together to eat. So this is a traditional Chinese house? Traditional Hakka Chinese house, yes. Ah, that's what we are. My parents, at least my mom is a Hakka. So this is quite a nice uh, exposure, I guess, mm. to the Hakka kind of housing. Yeah. So pretty cool. Let's go and see it further. Oh, just came back from work. Super tired. But nonetheless, I'm so glad because it's going to be Chinese New Year really soon in a few days time. Finally, the public holiday I've been waiting for. I will have five days off for me because in Malaysia it's a public holiday for two days. I will have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday off. I took one day leave because it's Chinese New Year Eve. Reunion dinner much. So yeah, this will be the end for the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and those of you who are celebrating Chinese New Year. Kung Si Chai everyone. Happy New Year. Have a prosperous holiday. Have a lot of food, friends, and of course, meeting people and family. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.